Hi, my name is Tatiana, and um, in this video, I am going to show you how to make a chain stitch. And this is the beginning of my video tutorials on how to crochet. So we're going to start with the chain stitch because it's the foundation and the basis for all of your cro crochet projects. And what we're gonna do is because I believe that we need to keep our projects and not waste our yarn, we're going to turn them into a project like this, which I use as pattern weights, but you can also use these as paper weights or you can use them for um, lids on jars or something, or you can just use them as decorative pieces. Now, I like to use variegated yarn, especially for making a chain and practicing chains because I like to see the different colors. But if you wanna use one color, go ahead. Um, if you just have other yarn at hand, that's fine too. So you need some yarn. You need a crochet hook, and I'm actually using a size J, but any size will be fine. But for this, I'm using a J because it's a larger hook, and I'm going to be using these washers that I got from Lowe's, and they're kind of big, so I wanted the, the size of the chains to be big as well. So I thought the J hook with the large washers was perfect for that. You also need um, a glue gun. My glue gun is really hot right now, so um, it's right here. You need a glue gun. Everything I own is pink, if you can tell. Um, I'm just really into pink, except for these buttons that I got that are purple. <laughs> so you need some purple buttons as well. And what you're going to do is you're going to create this long chain. And I'm going to show you if, you've, if you just sew and you want to make pattern weights, this is a really good project. If you wanna to learn to crochet, this is a good project. If you wanna have a project with your kids, you wanna give some nice Christmas gifts, this is a good project for that. Um, so what I'm going to show you is how to make a chain. And really, a chain is just really easy. Um, first of all, I'll, I'll just unravel this that I had started. And what I do is I make kind of a sort of, what a they call a slip knot and I just put pull it through like this and you have a knot and so there's a little loop and so this is the trick in crochet is to try and get your fingers adjusted to how it feels so you want this little tail to go to the right if you're right-handed if you're left-handed it's gonna go to the left so you want your left hand to hold the thread or the yarn and you want your right hand to hold the loop like this so i'll turn it around so you can see and what you're going to do to create a chain is you're going to pull the yarn over and you're going to pull through the loop so it's yarn over and the yarn goes over the hook and you pull through the loop so it's yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through. So you've got the hook pulling the yarn, but you also want to hold the yarn and you want to grip it really well so that you've got some control over it. And that's the trick to crochet is you want to be able to really grip the yarn very well and hold the crochet hook at the same time. So it's yarn over, pull through yarn over pull through so yarn over pull through so you want to practice this and you want to see that your chain has consistent chain sizes so that's why um this is the practice and you could just practice chains like this and just make create chains for a while as a practice to beginning crochet because the chain is the foundation row for most projects. So if you don't have a really good, strong chain, the rest of your project won't be um, coming together very well. So you wanna pull through and, and um, yarn over and pull through the hook, pull through the loop, sorry. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Yarn over and pull through the loop. And the reason why I like the variegated yarn is because I can really see um, the sizes of 
the loops that I made. You see that? So you want the sizes to be consistent and even. And so, um, and it gives you an idea of what kind of a crocheter you are. Cause some people make these really tight and some people make them very loose. So you have to kind of find your way in this and making and doing the um, chain stitch helps you so that you get a feeling for this. So I've been crocheting for a long, long time and I've made a lot of projects and I do these chains very easily now, but it takes some practice because I know that it takes practice getting it under just like this. So you just wanna keep practicing. You want to go the yarn over the hook and through the loop, over the hook and through the loop, over the hook and through the loop. And notice the way I'm holding it. So I'm putting the yarn over with my left hand and then I'm catching it with my left fingers. You see that? And then as I'm catching it, I'm taking the hook and I'm pulling it through the loop. So notice that. So then I take my right fingers and I grab the chain and then I've got my left hand free so that I can pull the yarn over and put it through the hoop. So then I switch my fingers. So yarn over and you see as I'm doing the yarn over, I hold on to this and I pull it through the hoop. Now some people use the crochet hook like a pencil and they hold it like this and they pull it through. Um, they hold it with these two fingers and they pull it through this way. That might work for you. It doesn't work for me. Um, I don't crochet very well like that. I don't know why, but my fingers just don't work for me. But you may want to do that. You may want to hold it with your left, with your right hand like this and just use your left hand to pull it through and do that. So um, some people prefer to crochet this way. You see how I'm struggling? I can't really, but they hold it like a pencil. See, like this, and they pull it through. You have to find what works for you. I don't like to hold it like a pencil. I like to hold it like this, and I put the yarn over and I put it through the hoop, loop, hoop. <laughs> yarn over and put it through the loop. Yarn over, put it through the loop. So I've got this nice big chain. So you have to practice with this. Um, take take um, some time. If you like to use it like a pencil and you feel that you've got a better grip, you can, you can do that. Um, I found that using it like a pencil slows me down a lot, but that's a personal preference. So you may want to do it that way. P practice different ways for you and see what works. Um, and what feels right for you. So you just wanna practice with the chains at first before you start to crochet. If you can't do the chain, then you're gonna have a really hard time crocheting. So that's why I'm saying practice with the chain. So once you get the chain nice and long like this, what I did is I cut off the, I, I knotted the end. So I've got this big long chain you can use it as a necklace double it up or make it um, a bracelet but for my project today I'm going to take these washers and I am going to um, make pattern weights for myself but before that I just want to show you when you're pull I don't remember if I explained this or not but I'll explain it again if I did before when you're pulling the yarn you want to make sure that you pull the yarn through here. This is um, Red Heart yarn, variegated. I always use variegated for projects like this project that I have with pattern weights because they're colorful and they're really pretty. I also like to use them to make um, scarves for winter. I'll be having a video of that coming up very soon if you wanna make some presents. And even if you're new to crochet, you'll be able to do that. So variegated yarn is really good for those kinds of projects. But you see this loop here, I just kind of turn it around. That's the beginning um, of one side and this is the beginning of the other, but the yarn flows much better if you do this. So it's nice and easy to pull.
So once you get your um, chain done and you feel really comfortable, and I would say you should practice for a few hours with this if you're new to crochet. So once you get your chain, I, this chain is about 90 inches, so you can take a tape measure and um, try it out and see what works for you. So what I do is I take the three washers like this, and you get these at Lowe's in the screws department, and um, you can ask for washers. There's different types of washers. Now there's the, these are the largest washers, and I have a link in this video if you wanna order them through Amazon, but if you get them through Amazon, you have to get a whole big box full and if you buy these at Lowe's, they're 78 cents a piece. And I bought three. So, um, well, actually I bought more than that, but they're 78 cents a piece. There's also a smaller size that looks just like this. And these are, I think, 68 cents. And you can just buy them individually at Lowe's, where if you buy them on Amazon, you have to buy a whole big box. Depends on how many pattern weights you want. If you want a lot, go for it. Um, so you can do this project if you just want to make pattern weights for yourself. I started doing this because I had um, put out a search for pattern weights and everything that I saw was too ugly for me. And there was a tutorial on how to fill them with sand in these little, um, little uh, uh, fabric pieces. And I didn't like that because they were like kind of triangle looking. I don't know, they weren't colorful enough for me and um, they didn't feel good, but this feels good. You know, this feels nice on you. It's nice and soft and it's heavy. And so if you sew, this is terrific. If you have um, parents who have, or friends who have lots of papers on their desk and they want a pattern weight, this also works very well as a, a paperweight. Pattern weight, paperweight, or a lid for a jar. I have used these as lids for jars as well. So you take the three like this and you take the end of one piece. And so in the beginning, it's kind of hard because you kind of have to wrap it like this. It's like so. So it kind of looks weird and uneven. And then I just take it and I wrap it around like this. So this will give my project that I did for my sewing, I mean, for my practice of my crochet, instead of throwing these um, chains out away and wasting all that yarn, I like to make use of whatever I do. Plus I'm proud of every little thing that I do, whether it's to crochet or sew, and I don't like throwing anything out. So that's kind of like my personality. It's like, if I if I took the time to make something, I wanna have it to have some use. So when I was learning to crochet, I was also sewing. So I was, um, which is many years ago now, but I just thought, you know what? Um, I'm gonna make use of my chains and I remember making necklaces out of them um, and I was doing other little bracelets and things like that out of my chains and then I did start to sew and I thought you know what I need pattern weights and I thought this is a really good idea to um, use um, for my pattern weights now I have seen this project with people using um, fabric but I just don't think the fabric is that cool. I tried it with the fabric, but the the fabric kind of is stiff and this is kind of soft and it's easy to move around. And you see it goes kind of quickly if you look at what I'm doing. It goes very fast. It's not, you know, it, it doesn't take much of a brain, I guess but it's just time consuming in the sense that if you want like 10 of these you're gonna have to spend a couple of hours or maybe a day making them it takes me a pretty long while i mean it just depends on what i'm doing i love to do this while i'm watching tv <laughs> and um 
wrapping these around while I'm watching TV. Um, sometimes if I'm on a Zoom meeting and I'm bored, um, I'll do this or any other meeting that I'm bored. It kind of keeps me um, busy. And um, I have a tendency when I'm watching TV to want to get up and eat um, during the commercials. And so when you're, mid when you're doing this, you really forget about eating. So you just kind of spend your time um, with this and you don't get up and eat. Actually, crochet and sewing is a great way to stop eating um, excessively because you're so busy with this and you want to finish a project that um, you stop eating or if you want, you know, and it's better to do a project like this than to waste your time um, on social media, <laughs> but you can be on social media and do this at the same time too. Some of you might be doing that right now while you're watching my video. I don't know, but this is kind of cool. You see, it doesn't go that slow, but it's not that fast. I, I don't know about the time, but it takes some energy. I mean, <laughs> you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. To me, this is fun. This is how I find my fun. And um, I feel very productive, especially when I'm done with the project. I think, yay, I finished it. I did something productive and useful. And I took a sewing class about a month ago and I brought my own pattern weights and the ladies in the group were like so impressed that I had these and they asked me where I bought them from. And um, I said, I didn't buy them from anywhere, I made them. And I love saying that. I love saying, I didn't buy it, I made it. I love to say that. So if you like to say things like that and to have something unique and different and um, you, you know, there's a lot of other things you can do. If you just wrap it around one, um, you can hang it and have a necklace. I mean, there's, other, there's so many possibilities. So in the comments section, I'd really like to hear what you've done um, creatively with this because it's just a, it's just a washer and a chain so think about it, you've learned to crochet and you've turned your crochet project into a really cool um, piece of work. It could be a piece of art. You don't have to use variegated yarn. You could use some other color. You may not have to use yarn. You can use some kind of um, uh, wire if you want, or you can use, um, a, a different type of material for instead of yarn you can use um, there's like a waxy material that you can use I mean there's a lot of things that you can do with this and you just wrap it around and if you have all this extra that's great because all you're going to do is just wrap it and you see and you've got all of this like this and if you have kids and the kids want something to do this is a great project to do with your children but watch them with the um with this the glue gun because it's hot and you don't want them to burn themselves and watch them with the crochet hook because they might stick it in something you don't want them to stick it in and so you just wrap it like this and you just wrap it around like that it kind of looks like a donut um, but don't think about food because you don't want to gain weight <laughs> but, but I guess that's always a possibility maybe it's just me maybe you're not thinking donuts maybe I'm only the one that thinks of donuts but I do like to do these projects because um, I don't want to eat and drink and you know, like Coca-Cola or something like that, that has all the sugar in it. And so if you want to watch your weight, this is definitely a project that will keep you away from food. Um, it's one of the reasons why I love to sew. I love to make dresses and I like to sew because it keeps me away from eating and it keeps me away from food. And, um, I, in the process, I have a really cool, project so here we go and I'm just pulling it a little bit you see and I'm tightening it like this so I'm at the end and I'm just going to pull this down and I'm gonna take the two ends like so 
and I'm going to tie a knot and then I'm going to tie a second knot like that and so don't worry it's not going to come undone and then I am going to take my scissors which I don't know where they're at okay so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut the ends like so and you can just kind of fiddle with them they're not going to move then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue piece here like so and then I'm going to pick a button that I want to put in the middle of this so I'm going to kind of like work with this a little bit and move it around and I'm going to take a button and I like this button so I'm going to um, glue gun the button and I'm just I'm gonna put the glue not on the piece but I'm gonna put the glue on the button like that so here it comes glue guns are a little messy oops <laughs> here we go gushing down and oh it's hot I could feel it Ooh, ooh, ooh. it's okay um, and so you just leave it um, like so and glue gun it down like that you could put some glue on the little um, piece at the end over here so where you tied the knot just to keep it in place keep it for a while until it dries if it's if it's hot it's not really that dry but I'll put a little piece here just to keep it secured it, it won't show after it's dried. I just did this a little while ago. And so here you go. You have um, two skills. You uh, created a chain with um, crochet and you made pattern weights um, for yourself if you sew or paper weights. And these are great gifts and you can make them any color and as pretty as you want. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will have a lot more projects.